so welcome back everyone now many windows user may have this common problem where they try to shrink the space in order to create a new partition they get a message here you cannot shrink a volume beyond the point where any unmovable files are located see the defrag event in the application log for more detail this is a very common problem and what happened when you bring up the file explorer uh, you see that you have the enough space like on my end i have 53.7 gigabyte of the free space but when i try to shrink the volume it says only 172 that is 172 mb so this is a very common problem let me show you even if i type the higher value here it becomes zero and the shrink volume is even not highlighted okay so i will be sharing two best solution here that you can apply number one what you can do you can click on cancel close everything click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt and choose run as admin and once the command prompt box will be up now here you have to type a simple command to disable the hibernation and that will be power cfg forward slash h space off and hit the enter key and the hibernation will be disabled so now you can close it next right click on the windows icon click on run and type here sys dm dot cpl again click on ok or hit the enter key and the system properties box will be up here from the top menu option you will have to click on advanced and under the performance you will have to click on settings then click on advanced and then in the virtual memory here you will have to click on change now it might be selected to automatically manage paging file size you just need to uncheck this option and select no paging file click on set click on yes click on ok then here from the top you have to click on system protection now you have to look for your drive here your windows c drive and you have to make sure the protection has been disabled so right now you can see it's been on so what i can do i can click on configure and disable the system protection from here click on apply click on yes okay and okay now this time you have to go ahead and restart the computer okay so the computer has been restarted now let's check back again if it's working or not so again right click on the windows icon go to disk management and then i will right click on again on the c drive shrink volume nope it doesn't work so it seems that it's not working on my end probably it will work on your end or if it doesn't work then we have to move with the second method that is a very powerful method where we will be using a third party tool by the name ethers partition manager so close everything and you will be getting the link in the description you will have to come to this website ethers partition master you can download this for the windows for the mac we have to go with the windows so we will uh, keep selected to windows and click on free trial and click on ok click on the downloaded file click on yes now it's a paid tool guys so you have to keep in mind that if nothing is working for you and you really need a good application a good software to manage your partition then you can go with this paid software click on install and once the installation will be completed it will give you the pricing page where you can check the price and what all you will be getting from this tool it will be displayed over here all right so once the tool comes up now you will have to look for the partition for the drive from where you want to shrink the volume so this is the one from where i want to shrink so i will make a right click on it and click on extend or shrink now it says you can select a partition and drag dot of its head or tail to adjust the entire disk layout so you can choose the space here whatever is your requirement and then you will have to click on ok then it asks you execute one operation that is on the left hand top so you will have to click on it now it will give you the summary you will have to click on apply then it says some operation will take effect only rebooting the computer if you click yes the computer will reboot to perform the operation so click on yes and the computer will now be restarting so you will have to wait until the restart has been completed and then we will check back whether the work has been done or not and the next time before the restart you might get this kind of a screen that says either partition master boot mode operation and it will show you the work that is being applied so again you will have to have some patience and wait until it's all been done
all right so we didn't took a long time so the computer has been restarted so let me bring up the disk management again i will right click on it click on disk management okay so the disk management is up now so now you can see the space has been shrinked out but it has been allocated as healthy efi system partition so what we can do we can bring up the asus partition manager again click on yes and here we will select the same partition you can recheck by opening the disk management again 20.62 gigabyte efi system partition so this is the one again make a right click on it click on resize move make sure this volume has been selected here now drag the slider and it will show you that what kind of unallocated space will be created so drag it to the very end and then you have to click on ok again click on execute one operation click on apply and this will be restarting for one more time so you will have to wait until the computer comes up all right so the computer has been restarted now this time again if i right click on the windows icon go to disk management so now you can see that we have the unallocated space here that has been shrinked from the c drive so you can make a right click on it click on new simple volume click on next 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 if you want to give any volume label you can give it i will leave it as it is click on next and finish okay so now you can see that we have a new partition that has been shrink from the c drive so if i bring up the file explorer here go to this pc bingo so now you can see we have a new partition here as well all right so these are the two best method guys that you can try in order to shrink the volume in case the normal method doesn't work for you then you can go with this partition manager and hopefully guys you have found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye